Welcome to our ADM Lucid Automation Testing channel. We will have a series of talk about Selenium Automation Testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium Automation Project. You may access our test project and guide in the description. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In today's video, we're going to talk about Selenium, JavaScript, Node.js, and Visual Studio Code. So first, in order to create a project using all of these components, you must do a few things first. So first, you've got to download and install Node.js, and when you open their website, I'm just going to click this link, skip verification, and when you open their website, you can just download it from here. Next, you also want to install Visual Studio Code, which is the IDE that we'll be using. So again, you can open it up and you can download it from this link right here. So after you do that, you have to install Selenium Web Drivers and also install Mocha. After you do that, next what you can do is you can start using JavaScript to start web browser instances. So first, you have to specify let driver, and then after that, depending on the browser that you want to use, you can use this command to specify your driver. So this is for Chrome, this is for Firefox, and this is for Microsoft Edge. After you do that, here are some commands, uh, basic Selenium commands that you can use in JavaScript. So the first is await driver dot, uh, dot get, and this basically uh, brings us to the URL, adamlucid.com dash golf. The second command right here, this basically makes us manage and adjust the window size so that it's maximized. The third one, uh, we use this uh, by name ID customer to find this web element, which is the customer text box. And then right here is we basically send this ADM Lucid into the text box. So we write that into the text box. Next, we use this uh, CSS uh, selector to basically find the create button. And then we use await create button dot click. And this will basically click the button and send uh, the, uh, the customer uh, entry ADM Lucid. So that's some basic uh, commands that you can, uh, Selenium commands that you can run using JavaScript. Next, I'm gonna show you basically how we can set up our environment a little bit more. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna create a folder and in the folder, uh, you create the folder uh, using Visual Studio Code and then you uh, open a new window and then you open the folder uh, into that folder that you created. And from there, you want to run npm init in the uh, in the terminal, and then you also want to run npm install Selenium Web Driver, and this will install Selenium Web Driver. Next, we can update our Mocha package right here using this command right here, and then we can add some new files into our uh, folder that we created earlier, and then we can run a test using this command here, and this is a Mocha test. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we can do this in our own uh, project. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder and I'm gonna name it right here and I'm gonna name it video test for this video. So I created this folder right here. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Visual Studio Code that I just downloaded and I'm gonna click file and I'm gonna click open file or my bad, open folder. I'm gonna click open folder and I'm gonna click go to my desktop where I saved it, I'm gonna click video test and select this folder. So now that I have this, uh, yes, I'll just go ahead and trust that. Uh, now that I have this, I can go to terminal here, I can go to new terminal, and I can perform the different uh, tests, uh, the different uh, commands that I talked about earlier. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type uh, npm init to initialize npm in this folder. And I'm just gonna let this through. Click yes, type yes, click enter, and that's done. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use npm to, uh, to update and uh, or to install Selenium Web Driver. So I'm gonna enter npm install, and now I'm gonna type Selenium dash web driver, and then enter. So it's gonna take some time to install Selenium WebDriver. And once that is done, 
what I'm gonna do finally is I'm gonna go to uh, this file right here, package.json, and I'm gonna go down here and add a dependency. So this is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna add basically, I'm gonna uh, type in, uh, it will be, I'm gonna type in right here, it's gonna be, I'm just gonna copy this over so that I don't make any mistakes. It's gonna be mocha and then it'll be 10.2.0. And then go ahead and save that. So once we have that, next we can basically perform some other, uh, we can create some test cases now or test classes. So the first thing I can do is I can go here and I'm gonna create a new file. And I'm gonna name this file home.spec.js. And this is an empty file. And right here I have some text that I can just copy over. And this is basically the general structure that we use to create these uh, these uh, these tests. So basically, uh, we're creating a driver here, and then we're doing some uh, some runs here. So anything that uh, any test I want to perform, I basically write it in this try statement right here. Okay. So to begin with, the first thing we got to do is we have to. Uh, specify our driver because we said let driver up here. So in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, Driver and we're gonna use it's equal to await new and I'm gonna use builder uh, And it'll be four and I'm gonna specify the browser uh, I think I'm gonna use Chrome right here. So just type in Chrome and then you have to type dot build and yeah, so that's the first line. Next, basically, we're going to specify the URL we want to go to. So it's going to be await driver.get, uh, and I'm going to use HTTPS, and we're going to go to this URL right here, .com. Slash. And after that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get a few elements from this website. So first, we're gonna let the title of uh, this variable equal to await, uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the driver to get the title. So that's just a simple command, and that's the title. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the console, and we're gonna output. And how you do that is you go here, use console.log, and then I'm just gonna add some things here so that it makes it more readable. And then I'm just gonna write a home page uh, title, and then add a few more stars and then put a space or uh, put a space, yeah. And then I'm just gonna add title, which we specified uh, as a variable earlier. Next, what we can also do is we can assert, uh, basically we can test uh, if the title we retrieved from this web page is a certain element. So assert equals to here, and then we're gonna say that it's gonna be homepage dash ADM lucid. So that's the title we think you'll have. And then we're gonna type title. Uh, we're gonna make sure that these two are the same thing. Uh, so that's the first part. Second part we can test is we can uh, basically uh, do some, do some uh, specifications and customizations with Windows. So we're gonna use await driver uh, and I'm gonna type manage. And actually I'm just gonna copy this over because uh, it takes a long time to type. So right here, and again, I'm just gonna say, first one, we're setting the timeouts to 500 seconds, and the second one is we're maximizing the browser. And then what we're gonna do after that is next we're gonna grab something called uh, uh, the URL of the website. So we're just gonna use await, and it's gonna be driver.get uh, current URL. And then that's that. And basically we're gonna print the URL. So again, we're using console log command right here. So we use that command and then we print the URL as the variable here as we're calling it. Next, we're gonna use this and we're gonna navigate to a different web page. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use this await uh, and then we're gonna do driver.navigate. And this is gonna be like this, and then we're gonna specify the URL as, uh, I'm gonna copy some, 
a random URL over, uh, and this is what we specify the URL as. Okay, so that's something else. Uh, after that, we're gonna use, um, we're gonna find a certain element on the web page, and we're gonna let this equal to a variable message. So we're gonna message here, this is equal to await, and we're gonna use element. And I don't want to mess up this element path, so I'm going to write this and copy over. Uh, and we're going to call it by xpath, and we're going to use this xpath to find the element, and we're going to call it message. And then basically, we're going to use um, we're going to use some other commands right here. Uh, I'm going to copy over another command here, and this is basically. Um, we wait until this uh, this element is enabled, so this message, and this is how long we wait, the maximum amount of time. And then after that, we're going to specify value as equal to um, await message.getText. So whatever message this has afterwards, uh, we grab the text and we trim it, and then that's what the value is. After that, we can assert a few things. So we can assert first is that this value that we get is this text right here. And then next is we can print uh, basically uh, this message, uh, this value right here, and, and we'll show it in our console. So go ahead and save that. And now in order to test this, we just type npm mocha, and then we can type home.spec.js. And now we run it, and uh, uh, oops, my bad. I uh, I accidentally typed something wrong. It's actually mpx, not npm, mocha. Uh, and basically we run home.spec.js. And now it will run. So we see that the browser opens on my other window. So I'll drag it over here. And basically it's doing some different tests. And this is the stuff that we told it to print. So the web page. Uh, we told it to print the URL. We told it to print the header. And that's our first test right here. Okay, now I'm going to create a few more tests, but I'm going to do a little bit quicker so we can see uh, what are some different things that we can do uh, right here with JavaScript and, and NPM and stuff. So first, I'm going to create another file, and I'm going to call it uh, booking. Uh, I'm going to call it, actually, let's do golf.spec.js first. So I'm going to go ahead and create that, and I'm going to paste some of this, uh, this framework over so we can uh, just add our, text, uh, our test right here. And I'm going to call this golf test actually. So I'm going to rename this to golf test right here. And then this is what we have uh, for our basically our golf test. And so first, like we did before, we're going to specify uh, the browser that we're using. So right here, we have uh, basically we have our driver is using Firefox, and this is the website we're going to. Uh, next, after that, we're going to do what we did earlier, and we're going to maximize the window. We're gonna create some. Uh, we're gonna create some. Basically, we're gonna wait for the elements on the website to load first, uh, and we have that. And then after that, we're gonna basically specify some different elements. So the first element we're gonna specify is we're gonna specify the text box, and we're gonna use it this name to find the text box and element. Next is we're gonna uh, specify the submit button, and again we're gonna use the CSS selector to find that. Uh, and we're going to call it submit button. So we have these two elements uh, now that we specified. So after that, uh, we're basically going to use uh, some other elements. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to go to text box and we're going to send tiger A as the basically uh, the entry we have. And we're basically going to click uh, this and that's what it will do. Uh, and it will send the message in the text box. So next, what we're going to do is we're gonna click, uh, we're gonna copy this over. Uh, and uh, basically what we have here is we have let message. Uh, and so we're basically specifying the message as this express right here. And then we're letting the value equal to the text that we get from that. And then what we're gonna finally do is we're gonna see if the value we get is equal to the, uh, is essentially equal to uh, tiger A right here. And then we're gonna print that out and see what we get. Uh, so I'm gonna copy this actually because I put it in the wrong location. So I'm gonna delete that. And it goes under the try statement right here. And now this is right. I'm 
go ahead and save this file. And now I can run npx mocha and I can run golf.spec uh, golf.spec.js. Now I run that. Uh, again, uh, again, let me see one thing that I might have did wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Uh, and we see we have an error right here. And the error is because I used wait here, but I need to use await. So make sure you use always using await right here. Uh, and that will uh, solve this issue here. So go ahead and save. And I'm going to run this again. And this time it should work. So give some time to run. Opens up the browser. It goes to the search box. It searches for Tiger and it finds uh, Tiger A right here. And it, it, it basically says, yes, we got Tiger A. Okay, let me make another file. And this time I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it booking dot spec dot js okay and again i'm gonna test uh, i'm gonna copy over this framework that we have here so we can create this and i'm gonna call this uh booking booking test and this time uh what we're gonna have to do is uh since we're working with a drop down list this time uh one thing that i have to uh specify up here is this so constraint for select uh we have to use this web driver thing uh, once we have that, let's begin. Uh, first is we need to uh, specify uh, what browser we're building. So again, we specify that we're using Microsoft Edge and this is the web page we're going to. Uh, next, again, we're using uh, this implicit wait statement right here, uh, set, setting the timeouts equal to this. And we're also basically maximizing the window. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna specify Two things. First thing is we're gonna call we're gonna specify this book button uh, by this container here, and then we're gonna click that book button here. After we click that, uh, there's some other things we need to do. So I'm gonna copy and paste this over. Uh, first is we're gonna find this element golf name right here, and we're gonna call it select element, and then we're gonna use a new element, and this is gonna be new select uh, select element right here, and we're basically gonna use um, uh, this command here which basically takes the drop down list and selects golfications. After that, let's uh, do some more stuff. Uh, we're gonna basically, um, we're gonna basically call the text, uh, customer text box here and find it by this uh, element selector here. And we're gonna enter ADM Lucid. After that, uh, we're gonna find basically uh, the, the text box for email, uh, find it and enter this email. And this is basically us just filling out the form that we need to fill out. Um, next is for phone number. So I paste over this and this is finding a phone number, entering the phone number. And I'm gonna copy a bit more now because this is uh, just very simple uh, entering uh, into the fields. Uh, so we found the date, we enter the date, we find the time, enter the time, uh, start time, end time. After that, uh, we can basically uh, find the create button, which basically creates this input uh, right here by this and then we click it and that basically creates uh, our stuff. Let's go ahead and save this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run uh, this uh, this test now and this is booking.spec.js. Run it. This time it'll pop up a window. Let me drag it over. Uh, actually, yeah, let me drag it over. Uh, so that was a little quick so you might have missed it. So I'm going to run it again. Again, drag the window over, it maximizes, enter the fields, and then boom, uh, it does what we want it to do. So I hope this video kind of showed you some things that we can do with um, Selenium uh, WebDriver in uh, JavaScript and stuff. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for any new future videos. Thank you for listening.